Ben, there's a fucking beautiful city, don't you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> Are these, is anyone here not white? What the fuck is this? I feel like I'm at a Pauline Hanson rally. This is a weird tension. Who's not white? Make some noise, please. Come on, let's go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Any Indians in? I'm Indian. Any Indian? I just smell something. It's not just me. Are you Indian, bro? Can't see you. Can you smile for me, brother? There you go. I don't know. I'm good, man. I like Perth. I'm from Melbourne, and people talk shit about you cunts over there. You know, they do. I know you talk shit about them. I talk shit about them. But people talk shit about Perth. I don't know why. It's a fucking beautiful place. I've been here for a fucking week. We can go out to the beach. We're doing all this fun fucking shit with the rot nest. Fucking a lot of old people on rot nest. A lot of old people. You think it the Epstein's Island, not rot nest Island. There's a lot of old people on rot nest Island. It's a wild ship, we've got lots of fun in Perth. And you know what they say about Perth back in Melbourne? Do you know? Do you know? What do they say? Like, what, like, I'm gonna ask you people, what do you think the stereotypes of Perth are? Yell them out, come on, let's go. We don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, no shit, you can't. That's, <laughs> you're not supposed to take it personally. <laughs> you really showed me that you got butt hurt there. It's like, we think it's a nice place. <laughs> a lot of old cunts with money. Sorry? Yeah, that's not a stereotype. That's hundred percent accurate. What are you talking about? Five folks are everywhere here. That's why people in back in Melbourne, you know what they say? They say it's a racist place, which I'm totally against. I think this is the least racist fucking place in Australia. I really believe that. You make English people work in a mine. <laughs> Do you know how good that is for racism, bro? They catch a 48 hour flight and you're like, get in the mine. You're like, all right. <laughs> There's work in the mine for hours and hours. If these guys are picking carrots and shit, you know? Pathetic that is, I picked it for you, sire. <laughs> the English took over the fucking world at one point. And now they're picking carrots to live in a shit house with me. <laughs> That's pathetic. That's pathetic. I love birds, man. A lot of nature shit, a lot of beautiful beaches and shit. I love it. Look at my skin colour, I'm brown now. <laughs> I could go, I'm like a Neapolitan ice cream if you scroll up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 yeah. And that's how I judge a place. If it's racist, I speak to the Asians. That's how you judge if a place is racist. You want to go find out if a racist a place is? You go up to a local Asian in the city. And you go, g'day mate, and how thick his Aussie accent is, that's how racist the place is. <laughs> you know what I mean? You go to Melbourne, it's like, g'day mate, they're like, oh, no, no. You're like, okay, very little racism going on here. You go to Brisbane, you go up to an Asian, you're like, g'day mate, you're like, g'day, kid boy. You're like, fucking Jesus. <laughs> You've seen some shit, bro. <laughs> I love Australia. Thank you. <laughs> and I love Aussie people. Thank you. But well, sometimes I, still, I don't understand all the people's behavior. You know, Japanese people, all the people are quite different, right? Do you know supermarket? Supermarket? Some of the people, they don't return the product to the original position. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So some of the he got beef, right? He got beef when he walked in the supermarket, right? Uh, and then he remembered, oh, I think I have a beef in my fridge. I don't need it anymore. And then he returned the beef to the bread section. <laughs> you know, there's so many random products in random section of all this supermarket. I don't like it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, you know? You know lime juice? Lime juice for the cooking. Lime juice? Oh, I saw that lime juice section. I saw that. Uh, actual lime there. <laughs> Some old thing that he got rhyme, they walk in the supermarket and he found lime juice. Oh, there's lime juice there. I didn't know that. It's cheaper. I should get. And he returned the rhyme to lime juice. I don't like it. I saw one time yogurt, yogurt at ice cream section. In the freezer. Someone tried to make a frozen yogurt there. That's clever, you know. But I want to be Aussie, so I want to try. I want to try the re random return products things in the supermarket. But I'm also fucking Japanese, so I wanna I wanna do that to help people. 
to help Aussie people. I want to be good Aussie, you know? So for example, people often forget the shopping, isn't it? If you go shopping on the way home, you realize, oh, I forgot to buy this product. You always forget, you know? I want to help you. I want to help you, you know? For example, toilet paper. Toilet paper, sometimes you forget to buy toilet paper, isn't it? So I want to put toilet paper at coffee section. <laughs> it sounds so random, right? You might say, what the fuck? Why toilet paper is here? But you might also think, if I drink coffee, I might use bathroom. <laughs> How many toilet paper left? I should get. It's for you. It's for you. I'm helping all the people. Good Aussie. Toothpaste, toothpaste, sometimes you forget to buy toothpaste. I'm gonna put toothpaste at garlic section. <laughs> That's the time you think about bread, you know? Good Aussie, good Aussie. Any, any single man here? Any single man? Yeah, 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 for you, for you. Oh, I wanna help you, I wanna help you. I wanna, for you, I wanna put the cleaning products. Cleaning products at condom section. <laughs> You never forget to buy condoms before you go date, but you always forget clean up, right? I'm for you. I know you. I'm gonna help you, Ozzy. Oh, by the way, condoms. Do, do, do you know the supermarket Aldi? Aldi. Aldi, they don't sell condoms. Did you know that? I checked a few Aldis. They don't sell condoms. That's crazy. They should. They should because people who love to go to Aldi, they should use condoms. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. That's, sorry. Um, wait, uh, we've had three kids, so you've had a vasectomy. Give me a cheer if you've had a vasectomy. Cowards. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, there needs to be more vasectomies in midlands, I tell you what. But I had, um, <laughs> yes. But uh, he had a vasectomy and uh, I learned a lot about him that day that he had it um, because I've had three of his children and he had the strength um, to complain about it. <laughs> oh my God, he's the bravest man alive. It was, so it's a 15 minute procedure. 15, that's it, 15 minute procedure. It cost 580 bucks, that's the only bit that hurt me. Um, but it, because he was, he was really upset, it really hurt him, so. <laughs> On the afternoon that he had it done, I forgot he was doing it because I don't care. And so he went. <laughs> so we got this procedure done. So he went, and I was just in the kitchen, and then I could just hear a scratching at the door, like. <laughs> and I was like, oh, "What is that?" And then I was like, "Oh, that's the sound of a wounded man." And then I walked down and I opened the door, and he was just standing there like this. <laughs> Like he didn't have the strength to get his keys out of his pocket and he had some. I've let him have some for ages. <laughs> anyway, I looked at him and I know better than to laugh in the face of a wounded man. So I turned around and laughed the whole way down the hallway. <laughs> but he just hadn't caught, no, he just thought I'd forgotten. And so what he did, he thought I'm just gonna subtly Reminded what I've just been through, the 15 minute procedure. So he, he walked down the whole hallway like this. Oh, Jesus Christ, oh, Christ almighty, oh, oh God. Walk past the kitchen, all the way to the lounge room, and I still couldn't care. And then he turned around and he was like, oh, she still hasn't noticed. So he walked that length of the house again, all the way to the front door. Fucking Christ, oh my God. And by the time he got there, the kids were like, what's wrong with dad? I was like, he's suicidal. <laughs> leaving. The whole next day he was so injured that he couldn't go to work and he works from home. <laughs> so he had to have the whole next day at home lying on the couch watching the passion of Christ crying and holding a bag of frozen peas on his bull sack. So with that image alone I realised we wasted $580. <laughs> because I'll never fuck him again. <laughs> so I'm from Singapore, uh, my name is Tang, and sometimes people would ask me what it means, right? Like Tang is a Chinese name, like every Chinese name has a unique meaning. My sister's name Ru, it means may peace and harmony surround your life, and that's a beautiful name. My name Tang means food court. <laughs> like no, I'm 
was serious about when I found this out, I called my mom and I was like, did you call me food court? And my mom was like, no, like, why would I call you food court? Like, that's crazy. And I was like, okay, what does my name mean then? And she said to me, great family restaurant. Well, <laughs> let's call me your least favorite child. It's easier, you know, like, uh, and uh, what I did like last year was I got LASIK surgery, right? Like, um, the thing is like, you know, I used to wear glasses and what people would do at parties when I was there was they would take off my glasses, put it on their face and go like, oh fuck, you're really blind. <laughs> That's, does that happen to you? It's so annoying, isn't it? That's so insensitive. That's like saying to someone, oh shit, you really have epilepsy while holding on to a strobe light, right? Like, <laughs> who does that? Like, and the thing was like, you know, I got glasses because when I was younger, my brother got glasses first and I got jealous. And I said to my mom, I want the glasses. And my mom was like, no, you're not getting glasses. And what I began doing was I began sitting really close to the TV in an attempt to burn out my corneas so my mom could prove her love for me, right? And eventually I got glasses, you know, and that was when I realized, you know, if you have a dream, <laughs> you work really hard towards it, right? You can too achieve a visible disability, right? Like just believe in yourself. And then spend 5,000 years later and tell yourself that you're a fucking dickhead. You know, like just like. Uh, I was watching a documentary the other day about gay rights, you know, and I was talking to my mate and I was like, oh, isn't it crazy? It used to be illegal to be gay and now it's not, right? And she was like, oh, but Shane. Shane, there's still so much more progress to make. And I was like, oh, like what? And she was like, oh, well, only in 2020 did they lower the age of consent for anal sex to be the same as the age of consent for vaginal sex. And I thought about it. I don't think that's because of homophobia. I just think that was too awkward for any politician to bring up. <laughs> like, imagine that question time at Parliament. Uh, Mr. Speaker, can we lower the age of anal sex, please? Uh, would the member for Rockingham please stop licking his lips? <laughs> He's got a mandate here, represent my constituency. But uh, I'll leave you on this. Uh, relationships are, are tricky, you know, uh, in the modern age. Like there's this uh, new thing called fuckboys. If anyone's older and doesn't know what it is, uh, it's basically what this gentleman is right here. <laughs> now apparently that's people who sleep with people and then they don't commit, right? And when I first heard that, I thought, well, that's a bit unfair. Surely before you commit to something, you want to try it. Like imagine if someone's like, hey, this is the last food you can ever eat. Do you want to commit to this food? You'd be like, well, may I have a nibble first, please? <laughs> and then you have a polite, respectful nibble. You're like, oh, yum, 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 delicious. Very tasty. Very nice indeed. But not for me, no thank you. <laughs> you would be like, oh, well, you're a fuck nibbler. But then my friend was like, no Shane, you're a moron. What it is is people who lead people on, right? So instead of just having like a polite, respectful nibble, they might take like a cream butt off the shelf and like lick all the cream out. Be like, yeah, I want to meet your parents. Yeah, I can really see myself settling down. No, I'm ready to have kids. Yeah. And then they put it back onto the shelf, leaving it for guys like me to find. <laughs> And I'm like, where did all the sweetness from this bun go? <laughs> I'm, I'm, left, I'm left with nothing but a distrustful bun. Where did all the trust go? <laughs> I wanted a finger bun, not a fingered bun. What's going on with this?